pristine beaches, crystal clear seas and balmy temperatures. Where better for an athlete to prepare for the Winter Olympic Games? Snowy powerhouses like Norway and Canada will be expected to dominate proceedings at the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. But what about those countries where ice would be nice and snow is thin on the ground? Can athletes from hot countries really cut it at the Winter Olympics? It sounds like the plot of a Hollywood movie. In this episode of Burning Questions, we'll be introducing you to the world's most unlikely winter Olympians, who've overcome geography in their quest to go faster, higher and stronger. For many of these athletes, just qualifying for the Winter Olympics can be a metaphorical mountain to climb, as qualifying events take place in, yes, you guessed it, hot, cold countries. That means extensive travel or even upping sticks and moving to a colder climate. Despite this, there is an honourable tradition of athletes from non-traditional countries competing at the Winter Games. Ever since the Jamaican bobsleigh team captured the imagination of the world back in 1988, a series of competitors from less than frozen climbs have followed where these trailblazers led. A total of 37 tropical nations have participated in the Winter Olympics, while several other predominantly warm weather nations have also sent athletes. Pyeongchang will see the debut of four more. Ecuador, Eritrea, Malaysia and Singapore. But did you know that 60 years before the events made famous by Cool Runnings, Mexico actually became the first hot country to send athletes to the Winter Olympics? And they were bobsleighers, no less. Their bobsleigh team actually managed to finish 16th out of 23 entrants. It would be 56 years before Mexico sent another athlete to the Winter Olympics. But it was worth the wait, because the athlete they sent was this gentleman. Prince Hubertus of Hohenlohe, Langenberg. I know what you're thinking, he doesn't sound very Mexican. Prince Hubertus is actually descended from German royalty, but he was born in Mexico City, making him eligible to compete for Mexico. After founding the Mexican Ski Federation in 1981, he has represented Mexico at virtually every Winter Olympics since. As famed for his outlandish costumes as his exploits on the piste, Prince Hubertus has truly reigned over the Olympic spirit. Another athlete who knows what it's like to carry the hopes of a Barmy nation on his shoulders is Shiva Keshavan. He became the first Indian to compete in the luge at the Winter Olympic Games. In fact, he's also the youngest person ever to qualify for the Olympics in luge, making his debut when he was just 16 years old. I couldn't even cook a chicken kia when I was 16 years old. The sliding prodigy has gone on to represent India at no fewer than five Olympic Games, and he's hoping to make it six in Pyeongchang. Kenyan Philip Boyt was a middle distance runner with no experience of skiing when he was approached to train for the Winter Olympic Games in Nagano in 1998. Although he finished last in the 10 kilometer cross country race, he was involved in one of the most memorable scenes in Olympic history when the winner, Norwegian Nordic ski legend Bjorn Dali, waited 20 minutes for Boyt to cross the finish line, greeting him with a hug. No listicle get it, would be complete without mentioning the famous Jamaican bobsleigh team. The team, several of whom had tried out unsuccessfully for Jamaica's track and field team, borrowed spare sleds from other countries in order to compete. Although they did not finish having crashed out during qualifiers, they became a firm fan favorite and, of course, inspired the movie Cool Runnings. So they did make a movie out of it. I told, I told you at the beginning. And they were no one-hit wonders. The team returned to the Winter Olympics again in 1992. 1994, 1998, 2002 and 2014. They remain the enduring symbol of athletes from hot countries overcoming the odds. Until now. 30 years after the men from Jamaica made bobsleighing history, a team of women from Nigeria will follow in their icy footsteps, becoming the first Nigerian athletes to compete in the Winter Olympics. Other warm weather nations that have competed in the Winter Games include Bermuda, Hong Kong, Swaziland, and Uruguay. But perhaps the strangest tale of all belongs to Australia. In 2002, they gained the distinction of becoming the first Southern Hemisphere country to win a gold medal at the Winter Olympics. But it's how they did it that's even more surprising. Stephen Bradbury was in last place coming into the final lap of the men's 1,000 meter short track speed skating when suddenly this happened. 
All Grubby had to do was glide past the writhing mass of bodies to claim the gold. Not bad for just staying on his skates. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Burning Questions. Don't forget to leave your burning questions in the comments.